Hey guys, what's going on? Sincere here with WhoIsSincere.com. Got some breaking news for you guys. Uh, just coming out, Agent Provocateurs. FBI posing as militia. Fire Marshal resigns after shocking discovery. So, I'm sure, uh, unless you've been living under a rock, then you know what's going on in the Oregon situation right now um, with uh, Ammon Bundy and, and his militia. They're out there. They've taken over the refuge. Um, uh, you know, and the Hammonds have, uh, have of course, uh, turned themselves in and went to jail. Um, but they're staying at this refuge and they're staying at this refuge until the government makes some kind of action to restore the land rights of the people. Uh, as far as I know, you know, nothing really happens overnight. So I, I don't know when these guys are going to leave or if they're going to leave at all, but I know that they're highly, uh, highly prepared, they're resilient, and, um, you know, many of them have been through this before. So, um, this is looking like it's going to be a long-standing uh, issue. Now, with it being a long-standing issue, recently um, there was some videos uh, that just came out where some of the three percenters, I believe it was, uh, they actually went to the FBI compound that's uh, located uh, some miles away from the, um, the actual refuge. And they went there and they let them know, you know, what their plans and their intentions were. That video was about 20 something minutes long. Um, it, you know, I'll make sure I'll leave a link for that below so you guys could check that video out, too. But from that point forward, it looked like good relations were being built between, uh, you know, as good as can be, you know, quote unquote good. But um, good relations between the FBI and between the uh, actual, well, not the actual people that are actually at the refuge, but the three percenters that were uh, just arriving to the scene to actually, uh, you know, do security patrol for the folks there at the refuge. So um looked like it was going good, but now, you know, the FBI is doing what the FBI does. They have people out here that are looking like, uh, <laughs> they look just like the people that are from that area. Um, even though they weren't wearing, you know, any of the other, this kind of gear earlier, they were wearing tactical gear in the other video. So they look like the, you know, now they're starting to blend in and actually look like the people that are from that area that are actually at the refuge now. And, and that's, that's a provocateur. That's somebody that's waiting to do something. They're getting ready to do something. There's no other reason for them to try to blend in and try to infiltrate or to be snooping around um, any kind of ammo bunkers or anything like that. Let's go ahead and read the post from the Bundy Ranch, though, about what's going on. Nevada Assemblywoman Michelle Fiore just released a statement regarding the Oregon standoff. This is, an, this is Assemblyman Michelle Fiore of Nevada and Coalition of Western States. I just got off the phone with the former fire chief of Burns, Chris Briles. He was the Burns Fire Chief from 1984 to 2006. When he retired in 2006, the county asked him to stay on as Chief Marshal, as, uh, as the county fire marshal. According to the conversation I had with Chief Briels today at 12.26 p p.m. Pacific Time, he informed me the Sheriff's Office and Judge Grassy has been telling the community the militia has been following people and harassing people. Chief Briel saw what he thought was militia poking around the armory and following people, so he took it upon himself to pull them over. According to Chief Briels, these men posing as militia were the FBI. Chief Briels was so upset, he just resigned as the county fire marshal. He is going public with this information. More info coming. Check back for updates. This is what's going on, guys. I mean, this is a... Uh, none of this is a game. None of this is a joke. You know, the president may have done his address the other night, but of course he doesn't want to address this situation because, quite frankly, I don't think they know what to do. The amount of support for these gentlemen uh, is quite high at this point. So they know they can't just walk in there and kill them. Because they know all of that blood will not only be on their hands, but they know that the people will revolt. Um, they know that they can't talk their way out of this because the only thing that the folks there are looking for is action. They're tired of talking. They, they've been talking and there's, there's, no, uh, you know, there's no one higher than the federal government to talk to. So if there's not anybody to resolve it at the federal government level, then... You know, it's kind of, you know, they're at a stalemate, if you will. So I'm really interested in seeing where this is going. Um, guys, make sure you stay tuned tonight at 10 o'clock. I have an exclusive interview. 
um, on Anon Radio Live. Again, that's on Anon Radio Live. That's www.anonradio.live. I want you guys to tune in at 10 o'clock. It's going to be live. So we're going to be talking with um, some, of the, some of the individuals from the Oregon, uh, Oregon situation. Um, some of the guys that were actually in the video um, going to the FBI compound. So hopefully, um, you know, we'll see. Um, hopefully we can get Ammon Bundy on. I'm not going to guarantee that, but I would like to try to get him on as well and uh, just get a few words out of him. But uh, you guys stay tuned to Anon Radio Live tonight. We're definitely, we got a, an awesome show coming your way. If you want raw, live, real information, this is your opportunity to get it. 10 o'clock tonight, Eastern Standard Time, www.anonradio.live. We're going to be talking about these agent provocateurs, um, and we're going to be talking about what the next plans of action are going to be for the militia there at the refuge in Oregon. So you guys stay tuned. Um, as always, guys, stay alert, stay alive. Let's keep tabs on the situation and see how it goes.